I started my TPT shop way back in 2018, I believe. And I've been doing that for years. Last year in 2023, I started a new project where I kind of experimented and tried out some different online websites that are similar to TPT that you can sell your teaching resources on to see if any of them would give me some success on things that I'd already made. My logic was I already spent all the time making these products. Let's see if they sell if I put them onto other websites where there's other people who are searching for things. So now we're about a year and a half into that project. For the first year, I went gung-ho and every month I was posting new products to those different websites. All new products went on. I was posting old <laughs> products to them. And after the whole year, because I committed, I was like, I'm going to do this for the whole year, I kind of came to some conclusions about which ones I liked and which ones I didn't like. Now that we're a year and a half into this and the last six months I have done pretty much nothing on almost all of them, I wanted to really go through and sit down with you and talk through all of the different experiences that I had on these different websites. So today we're gonna be ranking each of the different websites that I have tried. We're gonna look at things like what their membership requirements are, how often they pay out, what their payout rates are, if you have to pay to get started, what kind of products you can post, how many files you can put up, how many photos you can put up, and all those good things so that you have a good idea of which ones may or may not work for you. So grab a cup of coffee. I actually don't have a cup of coffee. That's really depressing. Maybe I should go make one and let's get started. All right, well, I found a water, so that's gonna have to do for now. Um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through some different categories and I'm gonna rank each of the different shops that I have used from one to four. So one is the worst, four is the best, and whoever has the most points at the end would be the winner. And whoever's least points would be the, <laughs> I don't wanna say loser, but um, my least favorite is what we're gonna go with because this is all very personal. And do remember that as we're going through is this is all my personal experience. It's all very much like how things have gone in my shop with my niche. And also remember I teach music. And so that might be a very different experience than someone who teaches kindergarten or math or things like that that are maybe a little bit more common and I knew that going into it but that being said everything take everything with a grain of salt because it is all my personal opinions and yeah let's get into it so first of all what are the different shops so I have been on TPT forever I'm not including them in this because well spoiler alert they're still the best I gotta say there are a few things of some of the other ones I liked better but they're still the best. Um, but the other four that I'm using are Classful, TES, Made by Teachers, and Etsy. So those are the four that I'm comparing. I am also on Boom Learning, but that's like very, very different. So I'm not including them in here. So these are the four that we're gonna go through. I'll rank each one of them in the different categories from one to four. I'll talk about different things and yeah, let's get started. So first off, um, the membership. So actually quite a few of them had free memberships, which was interesting. Classful's membership is free. Etsy's membership is free. TES's membership is free. And Made by Teachers has a free version and a $39 a year version. Um, so they have different payout systems, kind of like how TBT has their own payout systems for that. So just FYI, that's not included in our ranking system, but I just wanted to let you know that. Now, when you go to upload a product, this is probably the hardest thing about this whole experiment was trying to figure out all the different what to do when you upload a product. Um, and there are varying degrees. As far as Classful goes, Classful allows you to upload multiple files, which we like. You can also upload six images or five images and a video, which is great. I like the video aspect of that. If you don't upload things, it will automatically pick photos out of your file. So do be aware of that. However, Classful is the most frustrating out of all of these websites because it is so slow. It is so slow. It takes forever to do anything. It's so slow. So even though you can have six images or you can have a video, you can upload multiple files and you can even copy your listing so you don't have to redo a listing from scratch every time. I actually put them at one as the 
underdog because their website is so slow that it would take me forever to post a product because I would like click on it and then like a minute, two minutes, three minutes later, it's finally bloated the page. It, mm, so annoying. So they were in category number one. TES, I actually really like the process of theirs. You can't copy a listing as far as I have found. So you can't like, you know, use a listing as a template essentially. But what I like about TES is it goes step by step. So when you go to upload, it's like, all right, add your title, add your description. You click next. Then you add your file and then you add your photo and then you click next. And so it was very step by step. And I like that it had it broken down that way because it wasn't overwhelming and it wasn't just like so much stuff on one page. Classful had a lot of things you had to check and check what languages it was, what categories it was like. It was just a lot. Um, so I like the TES system for that. You can add multiple files. So instead of one PDF, you can add two or three. I'm not sure how many files I haven't gone that far yet, but you can add more than one. Um, you can't add a lot of information though. So you can have a cover photo and then you can have one other like preview photo is what it's called. So what I have typically been doing is taking my thumbnails from TBT and putting them into like a screen size. And I do like one, two, three, and then like a random picture that goes along with the product um, so that you can get all that information, but you can't upload a PDF and you can't upload more than one photo. You can't upload those different things. So that's harder. You can link to a video. So if you have a video on YouTube, you can link to it, but you can't just like upload a video preview. So that was kind of frustrating, but I did like their system. So I did give them a three. Um, Made by Teachers was also a very slow website. It allows you to do multiple files, you can do a lot of images, um, but the file size is pretty small. So I had a hard time with videos, especially sometimes I wouldn't be able to upload a video or even a photo because the file size was too big. Um, and they're coming in at number two, just cause they were annoying. Um, and then on Etsy, Etsy's uploading system is the closest to TBT, I would say. Um, and so when you open it, it's very similar title description. You upload the file. You can upload more than one file. One problem I have with Etsy though, is that their file size, like product wise is pretty small. So it's 20 megabytes. Is that what MB is? I don't even know. Um, but it's not very large. So sometimes I have to take my TBT products and split them into two or even three files to post them on Etsy. And that's super annoying. Do be aware of that but you can add 10 images and a video. So 10 images plus a video. So 11 potential preview things, which is great. And that's a lot. And I do appreciate that. So for that, they are the winners at number four. So that was like ease of use and upload. Etsy is the top. Classful is the bottom. And that's where we are stand so far. Now the dashboard is our next category. So when you go through it and you're trying to look at like your how much money you've made and all of those kind of things. Yes. Um, so Classful's dashboard is okay. You can see a little bit of information. You can see this month pretty easily. There's not a lot of other information, but compared to some of the other ones we're going to talk about in a second, it hasn't been that bad. So they actually rank at number three. So good job. Classful. DES is really, really, really hard to navigate their dashboard. Maybe it's just me, but I just had the hardest time trying to find really anything. Um, I don't know. It's just hard to get to the information, hard to find it. It splits a lot of things up in between like UK store and US store, which made it more confusing. It's not intuitive. And for months, literally months, their dashboard wasn't working and it wouldn't even tell me how much money I made. And I was like, it's not cool. We can't do that. Partially for that, they're coming in at number two. So down towards the bottom, but not all the way at the bottom because made by teachers <laughs> is the worst. When you look at your dashboard, you can see this month's stats and then you have to run reports for anything else. So it's not just like, you know, oh, I want to see this year. Oh, I want to see that. It's like you have to go in and physically like run reports and it's really difficult there's not like a sales report where you can easily see like who purchased different things and things like that. So they're coming in at the bottom. Now Etsy has actually really good statistics, um, probably cause it's a really big platform. 
you can see a lot on page one. So when you open it up, it's like, here's how much money you've made for this month. You can easily toggle it to see if you want to look at this year or today or different things like that. You can look at conversion rates and you can look at like views and those kind of things. When you scroll down, it's got traffic information on that one page, which I love. So Etsy has a lot of information. They also have a really good app. I haven't tried. I don't, I don't even know. Do Classful TES or Made by Teachers have apps? Let me know in the comments because I don't even know. Um, Etsy has an app though and it works really well. They have a whole seller app, which is separate from their normal like shopping app. And in there, you can get access to a lot of information. You can post things from the app, which is super convenient. Um, so Etsy definitely dominated that. So they win at number four. So, so far Etsy is still our winner because they are at eight points. And so far, Made by Teachers is the lowest at three points. All right, now payout structure. This is going to be a lot of information. So apologies. Classful's payout structure is a little bit weird. They take 2.9% plus 30 cents for a processing fee plus a 5% seller fee. So I'm not sure if that's 5% plus the 2.9, so like 7.9 total, or if it's like one and then the other one applied, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm assuming we're adding those together. So you get about 92% of the product revenue, which is pretty good, minus 30 cents, which so depending on how much your product is listed for, might be a lot, might not be a lot. They pay out monthly on Stripe and that is automatically, which is great. It just like pulls up into my bank account if I've made any money, um, which we'll talk about in a second. So they're coming in at number three because they do a pretty good job there and their payout rates are pretty good. TES's payout rates are really weird because they have different tiers. So when you start, you're on the bronze tier and you get 60% of what you make minus 20 cents out of that for a processing fee if it's under three dollars um one problem i've had maybe it's just because i haven't made enough money on tes but i have to like manually go withdraw the money into my bank which is weird instead of it being like automatic um so actually i haven't withdrawn it yet and so i was looking at that today because i was like oh i should probably do that um so they're coming in at number one because they don't pay very much now when you sell more, you get to keep more. So when you get to silver tier, it's like 70% and then 80% that you get to keep when you get to gold tier. And so it's like the first thousand dollars or pounds is bronze tier and then you move up. So it does vary. And so it will be better if you do sell pretty well, but starting out, it's all the way at the bottom. Um, Made by Teachers comes kind of in the middle since they do have a paid version of the seller subscriptions. If you are on the free version of the subscription, you keep 60% of the payout. If you are on the paid version of the subscription, you get 85% of the payout and they do not have a transaction fee. So 85% is not bad at all. That's pretty good, but 60% is not great. So it just kind of depends on where you are on that tier, but either way it still is below the other one. So it puts you at number two. Coming in the lead again is Etsy with the best score because Etsy only takes a 6.5% transaction fee plus 20 cents to list your products. So when you post a product on Etsy, it's 20 cents. So like if I post my, you know, rhythm worksheets, I pay 20 cents to post it. If it sells, then it's another 20 cents to post it again. And then if it doesn't sell, it like sells out in four months, they'll automatically renew that listing fee. So it's 20 cents every time. So do be aware of that. And it charges you even if you don't make any money off of it, do be aware of that. Um, but the actual payout is 6.5% that they keep, which is not bad at all. You keep 93.5% which is pretty good. Um, and I also like on Etsy, you can change the payout, how often they pay out. So you can pay out every day, every week, every two weeks or every month. So in case you're wondering, I'm on every week um, because that just kind of works the best for my system. I only pay myself once a month, but 
when I first had it set up monthly, it like wouldn't come in time. So weekly just works best. So that's what I have it set on. I forgot to say that Made by Teachers does pay out monthly on PayPal and they're really consistent with that. So that works too. Etsy's direct deposit. Yeah. So Etsy is still in the lead and I think Made by Teachers is still losing. Sorry guys. Actually, I'm not sorry. And I'll tell you why um, at the end. No, I'll tell you out very soon because we're into the other section. So this is basically just my personal opinions and my thoughts and just things I wanted you to know about the different things and how I feel about them. So this section has no name. It's just called other, but I'm going to go through just, just things you might want to know. Okay. Okay. So classful, a couple things you might want to know. One, I like that when you're on a listing page to buy something, then at the bottom, it has more products from your store that people can buy. So that's kind of cool. Um, they also have, if you are in like your products, if you're looking at all your products, it'll say like the product name, when you posted it, uh, how many people have purchased it and how much money it's made just like right there from looking at your products. And I like that system because you can really easily see how much money you've made from different products. However, their website is so slow. I know I already said that, but I cannot tell you it enough. It is so slow. It is like comically slow. When I go to post a product, what I do is I open up all the tabs. And so I go to TPT and I, you know, copy the description and then I open up the other ones. And I always open Classful first and click, you know, like make a new listing because it won't open until I've already opened all the other ones. It is so slow, infuriatingly slow. Like I just, I can't, I can't y'all. And because they're so slow, even though they have all these things that I like, they're coming in at number two. Now, TES, one thing that I do like is that you can also see those earnings per product really quickly. And I do like that. I like the way their website's set up. It just works really well. I'm really curious, is it better for people in the UK? If you're in the UK, let me know down below. Is it better? I don't know. But I like the site. It's not obnoxiously slow, so they're coming in at number three. Made by Teachers is at the bottom with number one because they have massive ads on their website. And for that reason alone, they got number one in this category because they take up half the web page. Like it's insane. You open up the web page and like if this was the web page, all of this is an ad. Like you can't even see anything. And then they have like pop ups at the bottom. And I'm like, you're trying to sell our products having ads is not selling my products. Like that's literally sending people off of your website to other websites. That is not helpful. We don't like that. And for that reason, they're down at number one because mm, don't like it. Etsy's coming in again at number four. Full disclosure, they got perfect fours, which is totally how I feel about them, but you know, it's okay. Um, but Etsy is much more widely known, which I love. A lot of people use Etsy that maybe have not heard of the other ones. Also, a lot of people use Etsy that aren't teachers. So you got a lot of homeschooled parents, you got a lot of preschool parents, you got a lot of Sunday school teachers and piano teachers and like different people like that that maybe wouldn't know about teacher websites, but they're on Etsy. So I like that. Etsy has a lot of traffic, which is great. They also will advertise for you. Like they have ads that they put out that have your products in them, which is great, which we love because they're advertising for your products and we love that. So they got number four. Now my last category is definitely the most personal and that is how much money I have made from each one. So we'll go through how much money I made from each one. This is over a year and a half of having these stores open. All of them had the same amount of products up until like two weeks ago because I'll tell you in a second, um, but they all have the same amount of products because I would post them to all of them at the same time. So everything was like very consistent through all of them. I didn't give any of them special treatment. It just is what it is. So Classful actually, ironically, 
is the most frustrating to me because their website's so slow. But also I hate their listing page. Anyway, not important. But I've made a, more money on them than most. So they're coming in at number three and I made $84.22 on Classful, which is pretty good. On TES, I, they're actually at number one. I have only made $43.26 off of that and haven't even gotten it yet because I have to physically go and withdraw it from my account. So there's that. Now, as I'm looking at this with all the extra information, I'm realizing that some of this is probably due to the actual payout structure. Because if I'm only getting 60% of what I made on TES and I made $43, but I'm making 92% of what I got on Classful, then I might've actually made similar sales. Maybe I should have looked at sales instead of earnings, but I'm not worried about sales. Um, anyway, I only made $43, so they're at the bottom. Made by Teachers was a little bit better with $53.13, and Etsy has been the clear winner with $300, 313 actually, $313.47. So Etsy was our winner there. Now for reference, the first year and a half on TBT, which doesn't compare to these really because it's different amount of products, different types of products, because it was, you know, years ago. But the first year and a half on a TPT, I made $9,000, $9,673 to be exact. So just, you know, keep that in the back of your head as you're looking at all of these. So where we landed is the, well, Becca's least favorite, the one I would not pick is made by teachers coming in at eight points, second place or third place. Yeah. So fourth place, worst place is made by teachers. Third place is TES. Second place actually was classful. TES got 10 points. Classful ended up with 12 and Etsy came out with 20 points total. So there you can see kind of the hierarchy of how things are, how things have worked out. That being said, again, I will say this is all very much my personal experience, especially because I teach music. And like I said, there's homeschooled moms and there's piano teachers on Etsy, but maybe not necessarily on TES. So it just depends a lot probably on your niche, I would guess. Also, I wasn't sending traffic to any of these websites. I was only sending traffic to TPT. So bear that in mind as well. Going forward and really for this whole year, what I decided to do is I am leaving them open. I might switch my made by teachers to the free version because otherwise that's going to eat up like my whole money that I made, but I'm going to leave the free ones at least open so that I might get the occasional $5 here, $5 there, because honestly it would probably be more work to close the shops than it would be to just leave them open. Um, and Etsy is the only one that I'm actively pursuing anymore. So in the last week or two, I have gotten some new products posted on Etsy, which is why I said they all had the same thing up until a couple weeks ago, because I just started posting some new products on Etsy. Well, some old products that I posted as new listings on Etsy. So that is the only one that I am continuing with from here on out. And of course, TBT. So I hope that that information was helpful. I'm really glad that I did this experiment, mostly just because I really wondered about all of these ones. And I was really thinking, you know, like what if one of them is amazing? And what if one of them brings in lots and lots of money? Um, and I was just looking for ways to take what I've already done and make it make more money. Um, I was honestly very disappointed by the results of this experiment. I had hoped that it would go a lot better and I was hoping that it would, you know, be a whole new source of income and instead I'm kind of like well that was a disappointment I'm glad I did it though just because now I don't have to wonder anymore and because now I'm putting things onto Etsy and hopefully that $300 will grow so that especially if I'm not worried about the other three I'll then have more time to devote to Etsy on TPT. And I do like the idea of having a backup plan just in case something ever happened to TPT. I can send people over to Etsy and that's fine too. So that's my story with all of these different ones. I'm really curious if you have tried any other 
websites and if they have done well or not well have you sold on your own website how has that gone let us know all the things in the comments so that people can get more than just my experience because again this is a very very narrow view of what's going on so let people know what you have experienced down below in the comments and i can't wait to find out too make sure you hit the subscribe button and i'll see you next time bye